Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Teaching Show. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. And please don't forget to like this video. So uh, in this uh, course on process calculations, uh, the last video, we were seeing material balance without reaction on continuous unsteady state processes. So in this uh, video, again, we will take a few problems on unsteady state processes. Uh, but before that, just to recap, I am giving back again general balance equation that is input plus generation minus output minus consumption that is equal to accumulation within the system. Now this uh, equation, this is a differential balance equation because all the terms take the form of uh, flow rates that is mass per unit time. Okay, an accumulation term that is uh, the buildup within the system and it takes the form of rate of change of mass within the system or dm by dt where m represents the mass within the system. Okay, since this is an unsteady state, so accumulation term is not equal to zero, but we are dealing with processes in which no reaction is taking place. So generation and consumption terms are zero. So our general balance equation then reduces to the form input minus output that is equal to accumulation. Input is again, I will emphasize that this is a differential balance equation. So this input is input flow rate minus output flow rate that is equal to rate of change of mass within the system. Okay, so let's start with first problem of, the, uh, of this video that is concentration in a DM water tank. DM water is demineralized water. So uh, this DM water is being stored in a storage tank which has a capacity of 1500 meter cube. Now the DM water which is coming into this storage tank has a silica content of 0.005 mg per liter, milligrams per liter and it is coming into the tank at a rate of 25 liters per second. The outflow from the tank uh, is going to high pressure boilers at the flow rate of 25 liters per second. Now with time what happens is that the DM water which is coming from the DM water facility its quality degrades or deteriorates and the silica content in this water increases from 0.005 mg per liter to 0.02 mg per liter. Now, if we assume that the inflow and outflow from the tank remains constant at 25 liters per second, it has been asked to calculate the time required for the silica content in the storage tank to increase to 0.01 mg per liter. Okay, so we will start first with what we are best at. Okay, so first of all, we will see under steady state conditions, the concentration of silica in the outlet and inlet streams are same. Okay. Let's draw first the flow chart. So I have drawn this water tank. Its volume I have specified. Now the DM water which is coming in, it is coming at a flow rate of 25 liters per second and the concentration of silica is 0.005 mg per liter. Under steady state condition, what will happen? The outlet flow rate is again 25 liters per second. So the outlet concentration of silica should also be the same as the inlet and assuming that this tank is perfectly mixed so the concentration of silica within the tank should also remain as 0.005 mg per liter okay now what happens is that at time t equal to 0 let's say that the concentration of silica in the inlet water increases from 0.005 mg per liter to 0.02 mg per liter okay now what will happen uh, it will change the concentration within the tank and also the concentration in the outlet uh, will also change okay and this will change with time now it has been asked uh, for you to calculate uh, how much time it will require for this concentration to change from 0 0.005 that is that was the steady state value to a value of 0.01 mg per liter okay so what we will do is we will write uh, first of all uh, unsteady state balance equation that takes the form of input minus output that is equal to accumulation. So let's take silica balance. So this amount of silica which is coming in minus amount of silica that is going out that should be equal to rate of change of silica within the tank. So the amount which is coming in that is equal to 
volumetric flow rate multiplied with this con uh, with this uh, concentration term that is uh, liters per second multiplied by milligrams per liter that comes out to be milligrams per second so 25 into 0 0.02 milligrams is coming in the leaving amount is 25 into x so 25 x milligrams is going out and accumulation is d into xv by dt that is uh, see th this x has units of mg per liter if we multiply it with volume so volume volume gets cancelled and what i get is mass term okay so dxv by dt basically that is similar to rate of change of mass of silica within the system but we have to be careful about one thing only that this uh, volume is given in meter cube all the other units are in liter okay so we have to just convert this meter cube to liter okay so putting everything v we are taking constant that is the volume uh, within the tank remains constant because inlet and outlet flow rates are same so the volume of uh, water in the tank is going to remain the same okay so v is constant we are pulling it out of the differential sign and we are left with v into dx by dt v from uh, meter cube we are converting to liters just plugging everything in this equation we get a differential equation uh, we will solve it by separating the variables and integrating it between the limits at time t equal to 0, the concentration is 0 0.005 in the tank. And at time t, uh, we have to what, what we have to find, uh, the concentration is 0 0.01. Okay. So, just integrate, apply the limits and you will find out that at time t equal to 24,327 seconds, your concentration in the tank approaches the value of 0 0.01. Okay. Simple. Let's take another problem. This problem is on time dependent outflow from storage tank. Now, uh, in this uh, problem, what is there is that methanol is added to a storage tank at a rate of 1200 kg per hour. And it is simultaneously withdrawn uh, at an outlet flow rate m dot w. Now, this outlet flow rate, it increases linearly with time. That is, it depends on time. So, at time t equal to 0, the tank contains 750 kg of liquid. The outlet flow rate is 750 kg per hour. After 5 years, uh, oh sorry, after 5 hours, uh, your flow rate is equal to 1000 kg per hour. Okay. And it all it is also given that your flow rate increases linearly with time. Now you have been asked to calculate so many things. First is you have to calculate expression for m dot w. Second, you have to obtain expression for m that is the mass of methanol in the tank and any time t. Calculate how long it will take for the mass of methanol in the tank to reach its maximum value. Calculate that value and also calculate the time it will take to empty the tank. I have taken this problem from Felder. This is an unsolved problem of 11.3 okay so let's attack this problem first step is to make a flow chart so this is my storage tank initial value of mass of methanol in the tank is 750 kg inlet flow rate at all times it remains the same and that is equal to 1200 kg per hour okay i should have given this by some other um, variable i think so let's just say that this is um, m dot w in okay now, m dot w out, that is 750 kg per hour at t equal to 0 and uh, it is equal to 1000 kg per hour at t equal to 5 hours. Now, let's tackle this problem one by one. Okay. So, first of all, you have to calculate the expression of outlet flow rate m dot w as a function of time. There is a small error. Just uh, forget about this. This is some inlet flow rate which is fixed. I have just... Uh, marked it with m dot w so uh, just take it as m dot w in okay now i am talking about this m dot w which is coming out fine so calculate expression of m dot w as a function of time outlet flow rate at t equal to 0 is 750 kg per hour at t equal to 5 hours it is 1000 kg per hour since m dot w is varying linearly with time so both these points will fall on a straight line okay so if i just equate the slopes i will get the equation of line uh, it's very simple go and see any mathematics standard textbook and you will find this two point formula so i'm equating the slopes basically then rearranging this and i get the 
expression of m dot w as a function of time. It comes out to be 750 plus 50t. So the outlet flow rate, uh, it varies with time as 750 plus 15 to t. Okay. Second is you have to find out what is the what is m or mass of methanol in the tank at any time t. For this, you have to write down your methanol balance equation for unsteady state. What is your balance equation for unsteady state? It is input minus output that is equal to accumulation. Input flow rate or inlet flow rate is 1200. Outlet flow rate that is a function of time and it is given as 750 plus 50 t. So 1200 minus 750 plus 50 t that should be equal to your accumulation that is dm by dt. Okay. Just uh, rearrange this equation or solve this equation. What you get is 1200 minus 750 that is 450 minus 50t that is equal to dm by dt. Simple differential equation. Uh, integrate it uh, between the limits 0 to t at time 0. Your mass in the tank is 750 kgs. At any time t let m be the mass in the tank. So integrating between these limits and we get the expression for m that is equal to 750 plus 450t minus 25t square. Okay, let's go to the third part. It has been asked how long it will take for the mass of methanol in the tank to reach its maximum value and calculate that value. Okay, so what we see is that initially, uh, uh, okay, initially the outlet flow rate is 750 kg per hour, but the inlet flow rate is 1200 kg per hour. So more is coming in and less is going out. So initially what will happen? Methanol in the tank will start increasing. Okay, it will reach a certain maximum value and when that, val that value will be reached when your inlet and outlet flow rates become equal. After that what will happen is that with time this flow rate is increasing linearly. So it will increase above the inlet flow rate. Once this happens then the tank will start draining. Okay, so it has been asked to calculate how long it will take for the mass of methanol in the tank to reach its maximum value and calculate that maximum value also. So mass in the tank will be maximum when your rate of change of mass that is dm by dt that is equal to zero. Okay and we have to ensure that this is a maximum. So if you take a double derivative d2m by dt square that should come out to be negative. If I take a, double de a second derivative of this it will be minus 50. So this is a negative value. So we confirm that there will be a maximum. Okay, just equate 450 minus 50t equal to 0. Find out the time which comes out to be 9 hours. So uh, at 9 hours, uh, the mass of methanol in the tank will reach its maximum value. You have to find that value. Just plug the value of t equal to 9 in your expression for mass uh, of methanol in the tank and find out what will be that mass it comes out to be 2775 kg okay so last part it deals with calculate the time it will take to empty the tank when the tank is empty uh, your mass of methanol in the tank will be equal to zero so m will be equal to zero so uh, this is your expression for m as a function of time i just equate it to zero this is a quadratic equation if i solve this quadratic equation um, I get the value of T as 19.53 hours. So at this time, the tank will drain completely. Okay. So on a first look, this problem might look a little difficult to you. But if you follow all these steps properly, then you will be, you will see that this is a very easy problem. Okay. So I hope you liked my video and please leave comments um, if you have any doubt or if you have, if you want to have answer or solution of any specific problem, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and I will address that issue. Thank you so much for watching this video and please like this video if you uh, gain something from it. Thank you so much.